everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis review. Regicide. Today I'll be looking at a Regicide game on the map Onyx, submitted by Hagstroms. Now, I would like to point out that this is Hagstrom's first game of the day, and he says he throws away the game with a few maneuvers, but I won't spoil it for you, as we'll get to those later on in the gameplay. This film is only five minutes long, and it is a perfect example of what I'd like players to submit. Um, now, I have gotten a lot of Regicide free-for-all, specifically on small maps, because things can go out of order very, very, very quickly. They can get away from you very quickly, and um, that is kind of, kind of mildly the case in this film. Um, for those of you wanting to submit your own gameplay to me, please click on the link in the top right-hand corner of the screen right now that will take you to the video where you can submit your films to me. It's also the first link in the description. Um, I really do need films to submit. I just recently went through quite a few of them, and they were not eligible for me to review them. Um, Hagstroms was the first that I came across that I was like, yes, I can definitely review this. So Hagstroms, um, the rocket launcher does spawn top middle, but that really doesn't come into play much during this game, to be honest. I really don't blame you. Um, but I would have liked for you to go for that a little bit more. Um, another thing that I'd like to point out during this game um, is that green side overall tends to be a safer place to hold than yellow side. And you spend a good amount of the, of the game on yellow side. Um, and there are multiple reasons for this, um, but one of them is just that instead of having only one really cover barrier that you can hide behind, um, mainly this wall, okay, you, on, the, on this little ledge where you can easily be shot at, um, you have multiple areas and angles where you can hide behind, like you can hide behind here, you can hide behind here, and then you can run around and even, even come down here and crouch and hide behind here. There's also grenades right here for you to pick up. So this overall, the green side, tends to be a better side to hold. And that's just my opinion, but um, I would have liked to see you stay on green side a little bit more. Um, so let's move straight into the gameplay here. Now, seeing as this is Hackstrom's first game of the day, I'm not going to significantly comment too much on missed shots or that sort of things. Naturally, it will be a part of the gameplay review, but what you have to understand is that saying that it's your first game is going to obviously indicate me to go, okay, so this you weren't necessarily warmed up. Now, I would like to state something here. This game is a perfect example of why you want to warm up your shot before going into free-for-all, okay? And this is, I don't, this is why I don't want to be harsh because of that, but this is literally the, the reason that you want to warm up your shot before you go into free-for-all, whether it's with someone else or whether it's not with someone else, whether it's just you running around in a custom game shooting walls and we're throwing grenades at random things. You just want to make sure your hands are familiar with the controls before you jump into a game. Um, so off the spawn here, um, you immediately see a player and go for him. Um, this is a little bit confusing um, right here, uh, just the way in which you go about this. Um, you act like he's going to drop on top of you, um, which is really confusing. Um, hey, here's why I say this is confusing. Um, basically, you have the first shot on this kit, okay? And what I mean by this is that in, this guy has not chosen a very good route to go along. If he drops, okay, if he drops right here, He's going to drop and his legs are going to come out first, okay? He won't, in other words, he won't be able to shoot you first. You're going to be able to shoot him first, okay? And because there's only a very small, bear, you know, variance of where he could come out, he could pop out here, he could pop out here, you know, it, it, you really have the first shot on this kit, okay? Overall, it's highly likely you're going to be able to out-BR him simply because you're going to be able to stray from left to right before he hits the ground and is able to do so. But instead, you sort of back up and throw a grenade, and it's an okay grenade, but the guy doesn't even charge you at all or think you're there. Now, I would like to state here that um, you do not need to zoom at that distance. There is absolutely no need to zoom. This probably would have been fixed by warming up. But I'm sure you're well aware that at this distance, there is little to no need to zoom. Now, you could, you can um, push forward a little bit. What I would recommend doing is have jumping up on this and then jumping again to the left as you're getting the four shot. That's what I would recommend have done here, but you don't need to have zoom here at all. Um, there's really no need to. As it is, this guy does a very, very good 
um, deal with you and jumps at the perfect time. Guys, I just want to point out here, um, for you watching this film, uh, I want you to point out how Man Riot jumps, okay? And it completely throws off Hagstrom's fourth or fifth shot. Notice how Hagstrom shoots him in the body instead of the head because he jumps suddenly and he's not able to He's not able to compensate for that. That's a very, very common strategy, and it really does work when you pull it off effectively. Now, Hagstrom gets a really terrible spawn. For those of you who don't know, in um, Onyx, this bottom pit area on both sides is just a terrible place to be in. There's a battle rifle that spawns right here. You can get extra ammo, but it's a terrible place to be in. Now, Hagstrom's, what I would have liked to have seen you do here is go over here, either grab the scatter shot or something, and then jump up here, and then you could trade your scatter shot or whatever for the rocket launcher. As it is, you haven't heard any rockets go off, which is which is kind of crucial. Okay, um, these rockets remain here for a, a decent a decent amount of time, and they really don't come up in play in your gameplay that much. Okay, I've already watched your film once or twice, and it's confusing at best to me. But I think one of the reasons you lost this game was because there was zero awareness of power weapon control, and there were so many other players with zero awareness of power weapon control as well, because I guess the rocket launcher doesn't come up on your HUD, so you can't see it up there. You don't know whether it spawned up there or not. Yes, it's only two rockets, but I feel like that could have definitely won you the game. Now, I would also like to point out something at this point, okay? And that is, off this respawn, you know that someone else is king. Someone has score on the bottom right-hand corner. You should immediately be looking towards that position or that location, okay? And this is this is a little bit puzzling to me because there is a uh, a significant part of the film here where you spend time going after players that are not the king. Now, I need I need to state state some general strategies here, okay? And and this is this is for those of you players who are not as familiar with regicide, and it's just to remind Hagstroms of some of the basic concepts here. Okay, in regicide, you always, I repeat, always need to be moving towards the king in general across the map. This is extremely true for maps like Dispatch, Onyx, and Simplex, where the map is circular in nature, symmetrical, and uh, just easy to cross the map in a short amount of time. It is extremely crucial that you go, you be at least moving in the direction of the king while you're fighting people, okay? I'm not saying that you can't pause to fight someone else. I'm saying that as soon as you disengage from a player or you are not engaged in a duel, you need to be moving across the map towards that king icon. There is there's no excuse for this, okay? And when I'm, why I'm saying this is because you never know when the king is going to be weak, okay? Or the king is going to respawn across the map, or someone the king is fighting is going to be weak, because that king is trying to maintain the lead. That, what you have to understand is not just that the king has a 20-point bonus over their head, which gives you two kills instead of one. You have to understand that that person is the person in the lead. They are the closest possible person to beating you or winning the game, which means you have to be stealing their kills to win the game, okay? And this is, ins I, uh, wow, I'm, I'm going to say it again, okay, I'm sorry. It is insanely crucial that you be going after the king and whoever the king is fighting. You need to be stealing this kill off this guy. You need to be making sure he doesn't get these kills. It, see, it's a win-win situation when you're going for the king because you don't necessarily have to kill the king. You can kill the guy the king is trying to kill and frustrate him by wasting his time. But you can maintain that second place and let the king gotta run around and waste all his time because he's just running around not getting kills and you're just picking up all his kills. Now, you're not going to be able to, stay, able, to stay, able to stay on the king 100% of the time. I understand that. Okay, I get that. But... There's, there, up to this point, I want you to watch what you do. You're, you're going completely the opposite direction of the king. And this is really puzzling, all right? Um, I think it's because you're watching your radar so heavily that you do end up getting some good shots here. And um, first, for your shot being not warmed up, you do have some pretty good shots overall. 
Um, you get pulse grenaded here, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, actually, uh, never mind. Uh, moving on with the commentary, there wasn't actually anything to notice there. You did the correct thing by coming up this little ledge and then jumping off. That was correct, but he perfectly pulse nated you. I mean, there's nothing you could have done here. Um, definitely really solid shots on this kid. Um, really good job. Um, now right here, also some good solid shots for the Regicide. There's no need to throw this grenade. And this is this is a little bit confusing because some of your other nades are really good. Um, there's no need to throw any sort of grenade like this. And even, now this is it would be a great grenade if someone was like charging up this sort of ledge at you, but these guys are way down here and they're not going to do anything to you. If you call the commentary, um, he he perfectly pre-nades you, um, and there's really not a whole lot you can do about this. Really good shots on this kid, punishing him for thinking he can out-VR you. Um, great grenade here. Now, this is, this, is tr this is troubling to me. You double grenade this, and this is, you don't need to double grenade this, dude. Um, it, it's just, and, it's, and also, it, I'm just going to be honest, it's odd that you would actually grenade, um, this area, okay, or, or this over here, when in previously, you perfectly grenaded this other area, but when no one was here, you grenaded this, and it sort of, I, mean, I think it was on the other side, and it popped, the grenade popped over here and exploded. If you had thrown a grenade at this, the floor right here, it would have gone straight into this guy's face, okay? As it is, you don't do a whole lot of damage to this guy. But you get a hit marker with your first grenade, but your second grenade doesn't do a whole lot, okay? So it's crucial. Now, right here, right here is where I'd use the thruster pack, okay? Or at least as soon as you're, you've been you've been falling, okay? You fall and you, you do melee him, which is really, really, I mean, it's a good job on your part um, getting this clutch melee here. But I would have thruster packed and just sort of gotten away from him as it is you're able to clean up this kill. This guy perfectly pre-nades you. Um, which is unfortunate at this point, but um, you're still not going for the king, okay? And it, I want to, I want to, I want to teach you a few things, okay? It, yes, I know the king that is going across the map, and that's going to be difficult to do. But um, as you can see, the rockets are still up, dude. Okay, if you had, if you had taken the chance to sit here and look across the map, just, just, just peek across the map at the king, like, oh, oh you know, hey, how you doing, you know? And you would have gone, oh my gosh, the rockets. And you would have sprinted straight for them, grabbed them, jumped across the map, and exploded his face off. As it is, you really don't end up doing that. And it, it seems like, and I actually reviewed a film a bo by Box um, on Black Sight. Um, and he had a very similar problem, and that is he is laser focused on winning the game via precision headshots and grenades alone. And this is... This is unfortunate, okay, because what it means is that you, you lack a general awareness in terms of huge, huge, huge things that you could approve on, like the rocket launcher is up most of the game and no one has it, you know? Because, um, I mean, I, I can promise you this, okay? This game is not insanely high-level people in it, okay? Or, or if they are 50s, they are not good 50s um, in terms of, like, being extremely aware and because those rockets would be gone by now that i i guarantee you if you played onyx regicide against me those rockets would be gone and they'd be shot in your face when you're the king by me oh if we're playing this map i guarantee you so i'm just trying to point out here that those are the major way you can improve now i'm gonna i'm also gonna point out how completely unlucky and unfair you are multiple times in a row as this player literally spawns behind you. He's wearing even a similar armor configuration, or no, at, at a distance, he seems like he's similar to you, to you. This is completely unfair. This is one of the reasons why this map should not be in free-for-all. Um, this is just one of the reasons. Um, and it, 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 Simplex um, and Onyx should not be in free-for-all, and this is just my opinion, um, because with eight players, it this happens. And I'm also going to show you another point in time in the film where it happens. This is also um, terrible spawn programming, okay? And I want to I want to point out a few things, okay? Um, anyone on top of this base? Nope, or not not really, okay? Better than better if this guy spawned here, it would be better than spawning completely behind someone. Um, even though that guy's right there. Anyone really in the bottom of this base? Yes, okay. So he's not going to spawn there. Um, anyone up here? Okay, well, if they spawn here, that'd be a little better. Or if he spawned over here, 
that'd be great. You know, because not, not really many people over here. Or maybe under here. Maybe, maybe you could spawn under here. I don't know if there's even spawn points over there. But um, anyone under this base? Uh, no, not, not, not exactly. So, I mean, this would be a better deal. There's multiple other spawn points on this map, including even right here. Uh, that would be a million times better than this spawn point, which is directly behind. And if I do say so myself, this is what gets me. In direct visual sight range of a player. Like, this guy doesn't even have to look anywhere. He knows you're there. Okay? This is just, this is just, I mean, yeah. I, I really, I, I don't even know. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna harp on this a few more times. Um, good, 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 good job trying to clean him up, though. Um, but it seems like around, around this point in the game, you do end up cleaning this guy up. It seems like around this point, um, now this guy does get rockets and you kill him, which is a good idea. Um, you punish him for going for those rockets um, that could happen to you um, the number one thing you want to do with rockets when you have them unless the king is right across the map like we were stating is you want to drop immediately there's no sense in staying anywhere up top with these rockets you want to drop immediately when you grab them um, so you're throwing a few grenades here um, and uh, then you decide to finally go for the king and this is really confusing um, but I also want to point out something um, once again and on this, on this, um, I think you may have not been going for the king up to this point because you didn't want to gain the kingship and you didn't want an icon over your head. And that's understandable. Um, now I want to point something out here, okay? I want you, to, I want you guys to watch this, okay? Same player, okay? If this isn't an unfair spawn, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm... Three for three, like I, I'm not even, I'm not even sure. Okay, this is why I'm saying this map is like seriously broken. Not the map is good. It's just that like you cannot have maps that are small like this in free for all because this happens. All right, and I again, I'm just gonna move on from this point because I, I just don't have a whole lot to say to that. This is broken. Okay, this this shouldn't exist. I think I'm just pointing that out for you guys to know. And there's literally very little the Hagstroms can do about someone. Like, I, to be blatantly honest, I am completely confused on this player right here, okay? Because here's a reaction right here to a player literally standing in front of him is to let Hagstroms get away, basically, okay? And, and I want you to watch Hagstrom's shield as he is able to survive for an extensive amount of time before finally getting killed by this dude. And I, I don't know what that dude was thinking, to be honest. Um, throwing a few grenades. This is well, this is where it gets confusing, Hagstrom. Take it to uh, don't do your don't do your bolt shot, dude. Um, you need to run where your grenades went, which is down here, and you need to clean up the, this player down here. You don't need to be charging in with your bolt shot here. Um, players sometimes get get really screwed over by this, and the guy ends up killing you who was in the lead. This is one of your deaths by him that I think you could have avoided. You do get the regicide here, which is good. You get a really solid nade for the double kill. Um, and you get a pretty decent second grenade as well. Um, now, here's what I don't understand here. As soon as you see these two dots in your radar behind you, they're over here, you should have just sort of come over here and just shot this guy as he was running away. I don't know why you end up going to the right here exactly. Like, I'm not quite sure. I guess because there's only one player there or something like that. But when there's two players fighting each other and, you know, you can hear gunshots, I feel like that's a more optimal solution because you might be able to get a double kill. And right here, the king once again um, yeah, well, actually doesn't clean you up. You do a really good job of thruster packing there. Um, I would have liked, this is, okay, right here, this is again one of those circumstances where if your shot had been warmed up, you would have been aiming for the heads of these players because these players are already weak. As it is, you miss and get an assist on one of them. You could have definitely gotten the double kill here. And unfortunately, the, and the guy the guy who contends you for the lead most of the game. Now, you do get a five-point assist here, okay? And for those of you guys who don't know, in Regicide, when you assist a kill on the king, you do get five points towards your actual score. Look in the bottom right-hand corner. Hagstrom's has 165 points instead of 160 now. That's another reason why you want to be going for the king. Just saying, because you're actually getting points towards your score when you assist a kill on the king. 
is also one of the one of the small reasons why the game type is broken. Now, really creative second grenade there um, as you clean up this player, spending a little long on it, but good job with the double kill. Um, now, this is called panic reloading, and you do an amazing job of getting away from this player, pulling out your your bolt shot, trying to stay alive. Um, but I'm just gonna be honest, dude. Um, the way you wasted time with that guy, and you do another grenade here that doesn't do anything. Um, the way you wasted time and reloaded with that dude, you need uh, you need to not use dexterity. And I'm gonna point. I'm just gonna point this out later on in the film in a more in a more uh, a better example that will more emphasize my point. Wow, amazing headshot there. Um, good job trying to stay alive with the thruster pack. You could have maybe dropped down the hole. I feel like there. Um, that's what she said, but anyway, um, you get the, getting the headshot across the map, you thrust the pack very well away, that's exactly how you want to be doing it, getting shots on this player. Um, you grenade this guy very, very well, this is exactly how you want to be using your grenades. Um, I'm a little bit confused on how, why you challenge this guy at all, and here's one of just one of the examples where um, if you're you going to use the loadout that I, I'm going to tell you to use a little later on this film, this would been have been a better circumstance because this guy's going to come after you. I mean, he's jetpacking top middle. He's coming after you. By the way, the rockets are up again. Um, you could have just stayed behind here and waited for your shields to regenerate. And, and the loadout I'm going to give you is going to be really, really helpful for that. Now, unfortunately, you do get grenaded here, but the guy does drop. Um, so throw a grenade across the map. I'm not sure what exactly that's about. You punish this player. Really good job of doing that. But then you charge straight back out again. And this is where, um, once again, if you're using the loadout that I'm going to tell you what, how to use, um, you could have just sort of stayed behind cover and waited for people to come to you, which is what you should do when you're the king. You don't necessarily need to charge out. Um, the creative, dude, creative grenades here, but uh, these are not going to even touch this guy. And this is where you panic reload, okay? And you don't need to be, I mean, you do not need to be using dexterity. Um, I'm just going to tell you straight off, you panic reload. Um, and it, you, you even say in the description of every game when you submitted it, I, I threw away the game via panic reload or whatever. And I understand that, okay? I get, I get that. But the bottom line is, dude, um, you need to be using recharge and shielding, not uh, dexterity, okay? Specifically in small, like, again, Onyx. Simplex, Dispatch. If you're playing Regicide on all three of that ma those maps, you need to have a loadout with shielding and recharge. And the way reason why I'm saying this is because um, dexterity makes your mind think, I'm not going to get punished for reloading because it's faster and easier for me to reload. So I can just quickly reload and it'll, it'll be okay. But like you said, you literally threw away the game by panic reloading. And I feel like if your reload animation was a little bit longer, you wouldn't be tempted to reload as much, okay? And one of the things I want to point out here is that with recharge and shielding, instead of, from the point when you take damage and you have, and you have low shields, okay, up until the point where you have full shields again, so this is including the four-second wait time that you have to wait for your shields to regenerate, the shielding plus recharge allows you to have two seconds cut off from that time frame. It allows your shields to regenerate um, one second faster once they have started regenerating. And instead of having to wait four seconds for, your, for a non, of non-taking damage for your shields to start regenerating, you only have to wait three seconds. So it effectively cuts off two seconds of your shield recharge rate overall. Okay, And I feel like this would be really useful with staying alive top green and top yellow. In these specific areas, um, you don't really need dexterity. It really never came into a huge benefit in this game. You could have reloaded normally, and it would you wouldn't have necessarily died anywhere in the film um, dramatically or losing the game. Um, it really wasn't necessary. Um, you wouldn't be using shielding dexterity to stay alive more. It's unfortunate that you try to use the bolt shot here. I'm not exactly sure why you would try to use the bolt shot. Overall, it's just a bad idea to use the bolt shot um, when it's this close in the game. I mean, there, there is only one kill remaining. And um, for those of you who have experienced Regicide before, this type of thing where the, uh, the score doesn't, doesn't reach 300 and this guy, like for whatever reason, has a really hard time getting the final kill, this happens a lot in Regicide because everyone knows that the game is about to end. Um, and so people specifically run away from or do not give the king kills. Which is one of the reasons why Regicide is an unfair game type.
Um, so as you can see, the king dies off here. This grenade is not very useful. Um, and you end up getting this player, but once again, I'm not sure why you're not going after the king here. I think right here it's a good idea to kill a screen player before the king can, but it's sincerely confusing to me why like you aren't going for the king in these situations. If the king has one kill remaining, so you want to be absolutely sure that you're killing off the king so he can't be getting score. It also is your best bet to winning the game. Okay, I realize you can spawn across the, the, the map and everything, and you do stop this guy from getting this kill, and the king does end up dying here. Um, but you miss the headshot here, which is really unfortunate. Um, I, I'm not sure if you, I'm not sh quite sure if you could have gotten that or not. Um, like, again, another terrible respawn on the on Onyx, and you end up losing the game. Now I want to point out something here. Um, uh, right up until this point, um, right here. You are winning because you have 295 points, but you only need five points to win the game, and the the red player simply gets one kill and ends the game, and you um, go into second place. Okay, here. Um, now, I want to point out something. Um, overall, this game was extremely close. Okay, and via some of the terrible respawns and things, uh, there's not as much you could have done as as I'm used to in some of the films I'm reviewing. But there are definitely some specific things. I mean, the rockets are still up, dude. Um, there's definitely some specific things you could have done. Um, and if you're having trouble getting rockets, really just go bottom middle. When you spawn on the bottom side of the map, go bottom middle. Um, you sprint jump, sprint, just sprint jump, crouch jump up here, you know, and get right here and then jump up here for rockets and then drop down straight away again. Um, that's really what you want to be doing to get those rockets. And definitely use the loadout I told you about in, in small maps. It will really help you out. And um, I think that is it for this gameplay review. Um, Hackstroms, I hope this helps you. Hey guys, if you want to submit your own um, film for me to review, click on the annotation in the top right hand corner. It'll take you to a video that describes how you submit your gameplays to me. Please watch that entire video to understand how you can submit your gameplays to me. I'm looking for a very specific type of game, games like this that are very close where you lose by a very small amount or you win by a very small amount those are really um really up the alley of what i'm looking for and um the video will help you out it's also the first link in the description so guys um, if you want to watch other gameplay reviews the playlist of all my gameplay reviews is the second link in the description um, that will um, allow you to watch all the gameplay reviews up to this point so you can get caught up um, thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next capture or whatever in our recording peace